But you know, they always say, don't they, that music sort of moves us. And it is a soundtrack to our lives. It doesn't matter whether it's the first dance at a you know, big birthday celebration or a wedding or stuff like that. It's the things you remember. It's moments, isn't it? You know, a little song on the radio, that sort of thing. And when you think about it, it doesn't necessarily have to be the mega hits. You know, it's not the thing. I remember many years ago while I was working at the very start of my illustrious career, use that term loosely as you can imagine and uh, the thing was i was filling some shelves in a discount shop and roger taylor from queen was just branching out uh, as a solo star you know he'd made an album and one of the things one of the very first tracks was called future management and i remember thinking oh i wonder if that'll be me how wrong did i get it but of course every time i hear that track now i see the very young me up a stepladder filling a shelf with cheap shampoo in a discount store and thinking wow i'm right back there it's interesting because billboard the esteemed music magazine have just released the top 100 best pop songs of all time and i wanted to share it with you because i kind of feel like obviously you know we're chums we know each other but i'd love to know what you really think because well what do you think to this? Morning, Neil Sean, how are you? Nice to see you as ever. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, the shock one for me actually was the fact that for me, even though it's not really my generation, Runaway by Del Shannon. It's the sort of thing, isn't it, that gets everybody on the dance floor. Doesn't matter what age you are, you just love it. Early 1960s, great sort of synth sound of that particular era. And really just an all round great pop song. Even if you don't necessarily know him or whatever, it's just a wonderful tune. Now, at number two was some that really kind of shocked me in many respects, because particularly with America, we're talking, of course, about the brilliant ABBA and Dancing Queen. Now, I've been lucky enough to meet the ABBA uh, you know, group, and they are fantastically talented. Benny and Bjorn, incredible composers. Did you know, by the way, though, that Dancing Queen was based on George McRae's Rocky Baby. You remember that one from the 70s? Now, when you, you see, I know you're off now, aren't you? You're thinking, I can hear that. Yes, play Dancing Queen, play George McRae, and suddenly you're hearing the very same song, in elements at least. I'll leave that one there. But as I say, this is just a, a fun get together. As I say, it doesn't always have to be uh, heavy on royals or culture or dramatic news. I like to share things with you. And I wanted to know, what do you think to these particular choices? Way down the list uh, are other songs as well, you know, by Whitney Mariah. The number one, by the way, is Whitney Houston, uh, the beautiful late Whitney Houston. I thought she was a stunning lady. Um, I want to dance with somebody who loves me. Again, just an uplifting pop song, isn't it? And if you're feeling a bit down, even if you're hoovering, dusting, or just simply flopped out in the bed and you can't be fagged to do anything, it's a wonderful tune, isn't it? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below what was your sort of all-time favourite pop song. What's your go-to pop song if you're feeling that you need a bit of a lift? You know what I'm saying? What would that be? I've got to be honest, what's floating around my head is Too Beautiful To Last by the brilliant Engelbert Humperdinck. Don't know where that's come from. It's just in my head. Wasn't on the radio or anything. What a great song. That can change, of course, on a daily basis. Let me know yours. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.